So this right here is like my first post. It says, High Rise Suites, Goals. This is in September 25th, 2011, which means that like, you know, I've always had a, I've always been motivated by, you know, this kind of lifestyle and like high rise suites and just, you know, living different in some kind of way, you know? So 2011, that is when that was posted. This right here is my first car. It's a Volkswagen GTI um, 1.8 Turbo MK4 Beast. So as you can see, I was always into cars, um, you know, almost to perfection. I, I was always inspired by, by things like this. Bikes. I was definitely about the bike life back in the day too. You know what I'm saying? So all these things, vans was always a thing. These were some classics, 2012, a car again. Make money, not excuses. The sun is rising. BMWs, like everything was always a vibe. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so like I feel like it's definitely important to actually go this far down on my Instagram just so you guys can actually see just the build of things. You know what I'm saying? Um, back in high school, Jamaica, Jamaica, you know all this stuff. Me and my friends, like back at work, like we used to literally work over a hundred hours every two weeks. Insane, insane. Uh, all this. One of my first bikes, Kawasaki ZX607. Um, and yeah, just like all, all like right here, I had no idea that, um, you know, I will be focusing on, on trading, you know, like it was up until I got fired from my job, which is probably somewhere. Actually, this is like my first like big purchase in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like I actually uh, got some money, you know what I'm saying? I started buying some bikes because I had a bike before I had a car. So I was more into bikes than anything else, you know? What else? All this stuff, all this, all this. Yeah, so I wasn't even trading here. I was literally just working nine to five, waking up, you know, the same time every single day, like around seven o'clock, driving about like, let's say five or six miles to work every single day, plus school, plus a bunch of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So all right there, so until let's say that was one of my, my other bikes too so got fired from my job i'm scrolling 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 and and, and this scroll is, is definitely entertaining on us you know what i'm saying you see a lot of stuff a lot of just you know past shit you know goals definitely goals you know <laughs> um and yeah i think Around this area, like right here, was like my first trading post, actually. Um, so Some late night London session fun. This was in 2015, January. I think that was my first trade. Actually, no. December 30th, 2014. December 20th, 34th. Yeah. December 30th, 2014 was like my first trading post. Right here, um, I was just practicing. This right here was trading oil, gold, euro, USD. You know, as you can see, like, five lots six hundred and fifty five dollars you know it wasn't it wasn't smart you know by the same time like i was making progress which is the most important thing you know like all these things were just practice 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 and try to actually get accustomed to what this really is you know what i'm saying and um beyond that you know always goes when an older generation sees how the new generation takes action when it comes to online money, they still think it's fake or some type of scheme. Sit back and take notes. And trust me, they are definitely taking notes. You know, trade and post, trade and post, trade and post. Um, actually started, you know, had a 2K week, you know, a 2K week, which was fucking great. Had my accounts at like $1,000, just trading standards, 0.50s, that kind of thing. Um, you know, just taking care of bills like like this starts to actually become a, a lot more easier because you're making a bit more money now, you know? So, um, had some companies that I had joined, my FX book, you know, accounts at $689, standards lots on USD CAD. Yeah, all these things were just a buildup, you know what I'm saying? These were some small profits over time, 0.50s on odd. 0.50s on odd is insane, you know? So... As you guys can know, money wasn't really flowing like that. So at the same time, like, I just had to kind of, like, you know, take advantage of, you know, on what I was doing. 
at the time. This it's like when um me and Ryan first like really started to link up back in April 2015 when we actually started FIP. And yeah, so time just flew. Got my first spot, like you know, like my first actual luxury apartment. Um, nice scenery, you know what I'm saying? Then it slowly started to actually spread. You know, we started doing meetings and that kind of stuff. Ryan had came over. We started to actually spread the brand, and and yeah, more meetings, more profits, profits. I was really into harmonics for a little bit as well. You know what I'm saying? So, like, all these things I was into, you know? So, it's not as if I, I don't do harmonics or I don't know how to do them. I, I used to do them, but pretty much I had my phase that I was doing those, you know? But I obviously stopped doing it for a certain reason. I actually um, had two cars back in 2015, my 335 BMW and my 1.8 Turbo. The 1.8 Turbo was, was paid off, so it didn't really make sense to sell it. You know, craziness, big motivation shit, make money, then take the money and make more money, simple, big facts, FIP shit, you know, all right here, putting friends on, you know, 2K in profit, like, come on, like, this right here was starting to get insane, like, this is when I actually started taking real advantage of the kind of money that I was making, you know what I'm saying, $1,000 here, $1,000 here, 2K here, 2K there, it accumulated over time, of course, but at the same time, like, I had to kind of like get in, into the habit of just being able to make profit, which is the biggest thing, you know? Me and Ryan. About $100 a day. So, like, you know, I had big $1,000 days, but at the same time, like, those weren't really too common. But, like, when I had them, trust me, I, I was ecstatic every single time. But started seeing these kind of profits, $700 here, $700 here, $1,000 here, $1,000 there. These were some accounts that I was building. You know, so, like, it slowly started to to build up so like let's fast forward a tad a bit let's fast forward a couple years all right caught my m3 um around that time period i started doing you know more numbers i started making let's say uh three thousand six hundred dollars a week i think i had some some bigger days as well thousand five hundred we're in cali and still trading the entire time as well you know what i'm saying chart work and that kind of shit had some, some students make, make these drawings of me i still have them as well you know what i'm saying some crazy shit xenon on the left my um epic picture inside the middle you know no macy you know vibes so yeah started having some bigger days 2k here 2k there you know just really slowly starting to build up a 7k week you know, $1,000 in profit, 2K week, let's fast forward again, $74,000 week, this is this is when I started trading XRP USD for the entire week, Um, XRP was, was starting to pump, and I took full advantage of it more than trading that shit, again, 12K, 4K, 12k like this like when i started like making some decent fucking money you know what i'm saying i started making 4k here 4k there 5k here 5k there i caught my gt3 you know what i'm saying so like over time i just like you know built up the confidence to actually start making more and more money based off of like where i currently was and like now nowadays you know you know profits can look like this twenty thousand dollars in a day it could be um sixteen thousand dollars in a day 23k um, 15k, 15k, 8,000, $106,000, um, you know, and then crazy shit start happening, you know, money start being made, $127,000 from a, a $20,000 investment in one week, um, you know what I'm saying, and now we're, we're here, we're here, we're now we're, we're seeing numbers, you know what I'm saying, six figure numbers two hundred thousand dollars profit that kind of shit so it's kind of like just over time you just pretty much build that passion for it then eventually you'll get to a point that you're making more money but you have to, to be able to actually push your, your lot sizes and all these things so you're pushing your your limits whenever you have the ability to you know what i'm saying so that's all too you know what i'm saying so like i just want to actually give you guys a scroll back if you haven't scrolled back already on your own to you know to really really feel like where i, I come from you know what i'm saying so that's 
pretty much my, my Q-tip Fridays for this week right here. And I'm going to holler at you guys next week.